Look at them, bloody Catholics, filling the bloody world up with bloody people they can't afford to bloody feed. What are we, dear? Protestant and fiercely proud of it. Why do they have so many children? Because every time they have sexual intercourse, they have to have a baby. But it's the same with us, Harry. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we've got two children and we've had sexual intercourse twice. That's not the point. We could have it any time we wanted. Really? Oh, yes. And what's more, because we don't believe in all that papist claptrap, we can take precautions. What do you mean? Lock the door? No, no. I mean, because we are members of the Protestant Reformed Church, which successfully challenged the autocratic power of the papacy in the mid-16th century, we can wear little rubber devices to prevent issue. What do you mean? I could, if I wanted, have sexual intercourse with you. Oh, yes, Harry. And by wearing a rubber sheath over my old fella, I could ensure that when I came off, you would not be impregnated. Oh! That's what being a Protestant's all about. That's why it's the church for me. That's why it's the church for anyone who respects the individual and the individual's right to decide for him or herself. When Martin Luther nailed his protest up to the church door in 1517, he may not have realised the full significance of what he was doing. But 400 years later, thanks to him, my dear, I can wear whatever I want on my John Thomas. And Protestantism doesn't stop at the simple condom. Oh, no. I can wear French ticklers if I want. You what? French ticklers, black mambos, crocodile ribs, sheaths that are designed not only to protect but also to enhance the stimulation of sexual congress. Have you got one? Have I got one? Uh, well, no. But I can go down the road any time I want and walk into Harry's and hold my head up high and say in a loud, steady voice, Harry, I want you to sell me a condom. In fact, today I think I'll have a French tickler, for I am a Protestant. Well, why don't you? But they, they cannot, because their church never made the great leap out of the Middle Ages and the domination of alien Episcopal supremacy. But despite the attempts of Protestants to promote the idea of sex for pleasure, children continued to multiply everywhere. 